Hey guys, welcome to the my talk. In this video, I'm going to discuss about Yellow Brick, a machine learning visualization library. I'm going to show you the demo in this session. You'll get more idea about how to use the Yellow Brick for the machine learning models. Now you are looking into the Yellow Brick uh, website. If you look at here, uh, so like how to pick start the Yellow Brick. So basically, we need to install the uh, Yellow Brick separately by using the pip and Anaconda platform. Just for your information, this Yellow Brick is built on Matplotlib and SKLearn. So my suggestion is that when you are using the SKLearn for your machine learning libraries or machine learning models, then we can go for the Yellow Brick for the visualizations. And uh, Yellow Brick is mainly for the visualizing the like uh, different concepts. Like uh, you can see here the different concepts which I mentioned here already they are mentioned in the documentation like feature analyzing, target visualization, regression visualization, classification visualization, clustering and model selection, text modeling and when you are very specific to the visualizing the machine learning concepts then better to go for the yellow brick which is very useful and we can do a lot of things for example if you look at here the clustering visualizers the elbow method okay and when you are using these kind of methods if you go and click on this they already given the code how to visualize this how to check that one okay what is the k-mean what is the k-means clustering what is the different types of the methods we use how to visualize they already given the very simple code but anyway i'm going to show you a simple example we'll get more idea about it And also you look at here there is some data sets is already given here okay bike shades concrete credit energy when you want to learn uh, this particularly uh, yellow brick you can use these data sets for your references okay and also we can use our own data sets when you have separated the data like features and target and after that if you want to visualize the data and you want to do it at the feature selection stage and you want to look at the target you want to look at the algorithms wise so we can use this elaborate a lot. You see that built uh, bike shades, concrete, credit, LNG, and energy, game, hobbies, mushroom, and many, many data which is available here. Even you can, if you want to check the API references, we can, we can check that. If you want to load any data set, right? So for example, this is the data set names. You have to use the load underscore and whatever the data set name you are using it. For example, bike share is one data set. Concrete is another data set. I like that. For example, you want to use the concrete load underscore concrete or load underscore. We can use the walking or load underscore NFL. So load underscore is a common for before like uh, it's kind of a uh, prefix which we are going to use for any data set which is a three different data set which are using under the um, yellow brick. Now let's look into the programming. We'll get some more idea. Okay, so I'm going to import uh, uh, yellow brick. So basically, we need a data sets. Okay, you can use your own data sets as well, but I'm using the uh, inbuilt data sets. So if you want to look at the inbuilt data sets, you can see here these are all like inbuilt data sets like bike share. Concrete, credit, energy, game, these are all the inbuilt data sets. So, what I'm going to do, right, I'm going to load the inbuilt data set. So, any data set, if inbuilt data set, if you want to use, you have to use the command called load underscore and uh, the whatever the name of uh, the data set. So, basically, here it is a data set name is the bike share. Okay. Now, I'm going to execute this. Okay. Uh, yeah, spelling is wrong now, actually. It is a LO, right? Yeah, let it be. I'm going to execute now. Yeah, first time we'll get some warnings. So let it execute. It's because of my uh, current system versions and all. Okay, no need to worry about it. So this is the data set. This data set basically returns the two important uh, 
the variables one is a features variable another one is a target variable so features variable we can say it as uppercase letter x and uh, target variable is a small y you can put any any other variables generally we represent like this now i'm going to run this and you don't see any error now i'm going to execute this x and you see that there is a, some uh, data also there right and if you want to print y here just give small y and uh, you can go and execute this and you see the y as well there is a 17378 records so basically this is x comma y there is a futures and target but if you want to convert this one into the data set so that time what we can do right so basically we can use something called return underscore and basically we are going to mention here something called data set right so when i say the data set is equal to true then this should work so basically what we are doing right this is the data set we are we are saying the written data set now i'm going to execute this code again okay and you see that you don't need to mention here x comma y this time because this is something different now so what i'm going to do right this is i'm calling it as a data frame that's called data set or you can give the different name okay it's not exactly the data frame it's like a data set okay you want to know the what information which is there with this respect to data set we can see but if you were going to uh, execute this code and you will see something interesting points here see it is actually returning the object but if you say that data set dot and if you are going to mention the two underscore data frame and basically what is happening right this is going to be converted into the a pandas data frame okay so now i'm going to execute this code and you will see this see this is a completely data frame now this data frame i will keep it into the different objects called df and if you want to see that df dot info or df dot header section whatever the the methods which you have we can see these are the the basically all the columns there is a 15 i mean totally is the 16 columns uh, and uh, this is like uh, 17,379 rows are there, right? As simple as. Mm -hmm. And one more important thing here, and uh, if you want, uh, uh, like uh, any any functionalities with respect to the pandas, like for example, in pandas we use the describe. The same thing also we can do it here. So when I'm going to execute this code, e, you see that there is a describe function here, right? So this is a, like all numerical columns which are able to see it. I, I think it looks like all are almost all everything is in numerical columns only, except the date, right? So that's what I can see here on the content. So what other things we can do it right? So basically this is uh, this is not exactly we are looking for. We need to see something like visualization. So I will show you that visualization also. Now. Now let's look into the visualization part if you look at here in the documentation there is something called gallery and there is a different galleries here feature analysis regression visualizers classification visualizers and different things are there it depends like in which stage of your machine learning project you want to use the visualizations we can use it for example i selected here uh, rank based uh, uh, feature analysis so let me copy this code and i'm going to use it into the, my project Okay, so I'm just going to copy here. See that hello brick dot data sets import load credit. So I don't want to use the load credit. I want to use the same thing whatever we used. So we can use the load underscore byte share and same thing like load underscore byte share is also I'm giving here. So instead of this, I'm going to share byte share data set. So this is x comma y features and uh, and y is nothing but a target variable and your uh, we are actually visualizing at the at the place of Pearson ranking algorithm and uh, visualizer dot fade visualize dot dot transform and show method and if I go and click on this you can see this there is a like uh, rank visualization not only this one any visualizations we can take it up we can take it up with classification visualizers anything which you want to click on you want to like use the con uh, confusion matrix to be uh, shown in the graphical representations we can use so i'm not saying that one particular uh, graph we can use many graphs when you're working into the machine learning project but remember you have to use these things when you're using the sklr so that is the most preferred way because this package is built on the sklr right so coming to the point here so this is how we are showing the graph but if you want to uh, save this image into your project 
and we can also do that. So if you want to save this one, just we can give this out path is equal to test.png and click on this and this will be saved. So if you want to see that whether it is saved or not, you can check here, there is a test.png, you can click on it here and test.png can be shown, right? So if you think like you want to increase the size of this image, also we can do it. So what I'm going to do right now, so I'm going to add this piece of code. You see that from yellow brick dot features import. Uh, so this is nothing but uh, visualization, so radius visualization. So we don't want to mention here classes and features. If you want to specify the classes and features, you can do X and Y, but I don't want to mention here, but you can enter. You see that the big visualization image which you are able to see it. This is like increasing the, uh, the graph size, okay. So not only this, I can do it a lot of things guys, okay, please explore it this if you want any ideas, but I'm going to use these kind of frameworks, these kind of modules when it comes to the, I'm creating the separate to, uh, series for the machine learning projects and then that I am going to use a different different concepts. That is the reason I am exploring these concepts to you. Okay, fine. So I hope you are liking this content. Let me know if you have any questions. I will come up with a new content uh, in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.